Ready, play. Just got married to Alina Svitolina. Love, Alexander Zverev or Jack Sock will be uh, the next opponent, whoever comes through this one. Those guys playing tonight. These guys are going to be trading ground strokes from the back. Remember the surface here, it's a fairly fast, hard court. Good aggressive play can be rewarded out here. You can open up some space, you can hit some winners. Not always the case with some of the slow hard courts on the tour these days. Yeah, and of course, a winner like that, you know, hitting a winner isn't necessarily a strategy, right? You don't go out there and think, oh, I'm going to hit some winners. They're the result of good play. And this is what they do when they trade from the back. This is what you're looking for, a ball where you can step up and make something happen. So both men will need to maintain depth, pace, keep the ball out of the center of the court. All those good things. Sounds easy. <laughs> sure does when you say it, but you got to go out there and do it. The ball's moving the court as, as quickly as it is when Sinner unleashes both his ground strokes. I feel he doesn't really have much of a weakness in the back. His forehand seems to be about as great as his backhand. There's the man who's sort of handling Sinner. Okay. First game. Sinner traveled from his home in Italy to Resnick's academy. He's lived there since he was 13 years old. So it's been a lifelong commitment and a lifelong relationship between coach and player. Ricardo Piatti. Gunter Bresnik is not his coach. Ricardo is. And Gunter's now working with Monfils, yes, isn't he? Yes, yeah, exactly. Which was uh, a change this year. It's hugely significant for Gale. The merry-go-round of tennis coaches. It's tough to keep up yeah. at times. That was that was a bit left field, I thought. Uh, Monfils looking up with Gunter Bresnik. But uh, you know, sometimes it's a, a new voice is what's important, new messaging. Gunter's got a lot of experience, hasn't he? He was alongside Love Dominic Team as, as a junior, brought him through the ranks. There he is. It's yeah, there is. Often pick him, up, pick him out by the headgear, can't you, Gunter? <laughs> <laughs> he worked with uh, Boris Becker back in the day, didn't he, Gunter? He also worked with Novak Djokovic some of the early years with Novak. So his resume of players he's worked with is impressive. Monfils can only benefit from being with a man like that, that kind of wisdom. And the Frenchman possesses the superior serve between these two. Yeah, Sinner and Piatti will be the first to tell you it's a, it's a long-term project that's very much been the messaging coming out of the Italians' camp. Since day one, and he, he seems to have, a, I think, a fairly unique personality and character for one so young who can, who seems to be able to buy into that so easily. It's it, it's such a results orientated business, isn't it? 40, yeah, nice to dial up a couple of aces, get yourself out of trouble, get ahead. Good hold in the end. So, yeah, a bit of a spot of bother. One game on. First set. Just take a quick look at both these players' recent form, give you an idea of what they've been achieving on 
on the court. It was a great week for Sinner in Washington, Washington, D.C. That wasn't uh, too long ago, an ATP 500 event, strong event. Good weeks for some of the Americans there as well. He uh, rattled off victories over Sebi Corder, Stevie Johnson, Jensen Brooksby and Mackie McDonald. Picking on the American guys, yeah. wasn't he, that week in <laughs> the nation's capital? Played uh, the Canadian Masters event and the Cincinnati Masters event following those. It's a quick turnaround between Washington and, and Canada, so perhaps not too surprising that he lost early there. So James Duckworth. Good, uh, tough Aussie. Something to aspire to. Yeah, that is absolute money when he earns that short ball. I'm happy to have a little hair left, Lee. <laughs> and look at the preparation. Eyes right on the ball and that long, free swing. Timing, exquisite, right on the ball. John Isner early in Cincinnati, that's no disgrace. John's been, uh, been pretty useful over the last few weeks on the hard court. Surprising early de defeat for him here to uh, Brandon Nakashima, good young American, but Isner's always a handful this time of year in these conditions. Comfortable hold then. I was reading up about the old Shea Stadium this morning, which I remember as a kid. Which was on the same site, right? They they demolished that. That's right. Put City Field. Yeah. Yeah. Reason being, someone told me a couple of days ago it's where the Beatles played. They played Shea Stadium, famous gig in '65, I think it was, wasn't it? Second. Just watching, uh, went down a YouTube rabbit hole this morning, <laughs> watching <laughs> footage from that gig. It's tough to get out of those holes. I mean, that was a remarkable Third occasion. I, I think it was the, sort of the first stadium, first stadium gig, wasn't it? The Beatles at Shea. Yeah, they. Took the world by storm and it started <laughs> happening in New York. Thirty fifteen. I think Mofis has to be willing to be aggressive like that. He's known for you know putting balls in play, keeping the points going, but I think he's got to be a little more aggressive today because you don't want to surrender the initiative to this Italian. Oh. The sinner will take it, and he won't let you out. Monfils does so well is defend the space. So Sinner will have to work the point pretty hard to ultimately get a winner. Oh. The Frenchman will track everything down with his great speed. <laughs> He's got a few supporters, I think. Some intense support right there. I can remember Monfils playing Isner here many years ago, and Monfils supporters outnumbered the American supporters. For Big John. A reminder to download the US Open app to follow all your favorite players, not just these two, but uh, everybody in the draw. Track the latest scores, stats, highlights, player news. Oh, I think he's missed. 
that, isn't he? Yeah, it's just long. It was a heck of a point up to that moment. Yeah, he did all the hard work, didn't he? Setting it up. And missed the finisher. First real indication of the the power this guy can generate off the ground. Yeah, chalk and cheese, really, these two players' seasons up until just lately. Monfils, as you say, Leaf was playing some really good tennis. I mean, he was one of the form players. You go back before the pandemic. He, he won Montpellier and Rotterdam back to back. He uh, made the semis in Dubai and pushed Novak really close in that semi final. I want to say he had a couple of match points. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh. definitely did have a couple of match points. I think he's still, he's now 0 in 17 with Novak. That one must have hurt. But you're right, he went 16-3 and three in that span. And then the pandemic hit, and he didn't win another match the rest of the year when play resumed, I believe. It started off with a couple wins, a couple losses early this year. Yeah, it was Leon in May. That's when he won his next match, so February 2020. May 2021. But it's been better since, just lately. A couple of match wins, a couple of decent wins as well. He beat... Milman and Tiafo in Canada. Lost a tight one to Isner. And he beat Lajovic and Dumanor in Cincinnati. And then lost a tight one to Rublev, 6 and 6. So, get an idea that he's, he's there to find his feet on the tennis court. Once more, which is good news for everyone. Game Sino. Sino leads three games to two. First and a few opportunities for the returners so far. We're on serve. After five games played, 3 2. Getting fellow Italian Travaglia in that final. He'd won Sofia just at the back end of Big last season. So it was back to back titles in effect. His biggest week came in Miami, first Masters 1000 final. He had some very impressive wins. Hachanov was a memorable match that week. Easy power from the Frenchman. 30 Steps right up to the line, doesn't he? Doesn't waste a lot of time. Game oh. It's a great game. A sure sign of the confidence he possesses. A winner off the forehand, the serve, Three and the backhand. Game zone. First hand. So he's got it all going on right now. Fifty-five seconds. That uh, last service game. Fifteen. Left. You mentioned how the conditions today. Fairly temperate, pretty mild compared to how extreme it was early in the week. And last week during the qualifying, it was very hot, very humid. But we're also playing in a fair amount of shade. Whew, what a shot that was. You can see the shadows moved all the way across the court. So that'll cut the temperature on court even more. So these are really perfect conditions for play today. Yeah, you've got to be careful when you go up the line against this man. He 
can hit the ball cross court with power in his sleep. Just missed, but <laughs> far away. That was a bullet. Malfi's crushed his forehand. Sinner crushed it back. So seven fairly comfortable New holds ball. to kick this one off. There's City Field just across the way. And right game three. First back second. into Louis Armstrong Stadium. It's the main court, Arthur Ashe Stadium, just on the left of the pitcher, and then uh, that uh, brown structure just tucked behind. Got some uh, incoming traffic to LaGuardia there. That's just around the corner, isn't it? Led New York's person. three airports. Is that right? Yeah, I think they have a, maybe one more than that, even okay. a couple of privates, a couple of smaller ones. Oh. Yeah, you got Kennedy and LaGuardia, obviously the two mains. between these two so far the servers pretty dominant yeah, Mofis just surpassing 500 match wins last week in Cincinnati now standing at 502 can you name the other Frenchman with over 500 match wins? He's got more than Monfils does. Active player. Active player. Only two Frenchmen with over 500 match wins. Monfils is one of them. We put him on the spot a couple of nights ago and just about surviving. <laughs> In terms of longevity, I'm going to plumb with Gasquet. Correct. He's been around a while, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, correct. Isn't that amazing, though, that he, he was the first and only until Monfils surpassed that big number just a couple of weeks ago? Oh. I think Gilles Simone is maybe seven or eight match wins shy of 500. I thought it was good enough. I jumped in too early there. Yeah, what a shot. But that's the thing about Sinner. If you give him time on the ball, his preparation is such that you're not really sure it's going cross court or down the line because his swing happens so quickly. Very quick hands. The only player who might have quicker hands than Sinner is Andre Rublev. Shot that was. Oh, is in very good form right now. Serve is working. How about this forehand? Both men dominant on serve. Game Just three points dropped behind Sinner's serve so far. 11 of 14 first serve points. He hasn't dropped a point behind second serve. And Monfils has been just as impressive. Three points dropped as well. Let first serve.
missed that one, but again, the evidence of how he can just be trading with Monfils. And it's almost like he, he flicks a switch and can really hurt you off the ground. Former semi finalist, the Frenchman, that was back in 2016, had a decent run a couple of years ago as well. He played an incredible match against Berrettini in the quarterfinals, that was. Yeah, one of the best matches of the tournament. Yeah. Incredible affair. Oh, oh, oh. did not miss by much. And that's where the left hand comes in. Because you want to just get enough of the outside of the ball. To bring it in. Just missed it. Yeah, that was sort of the birth of Berrettini. You know, I think he'd been sort of flying under the radar until that semifinals here in New York. Since then, what, Wimbledon finals, winning Masters 1000 titles. And one of the many Italians touched on that leaf. I think that's, they're all benefiting from that, aren't they? Huge number inside the top 100. Feeding off one another. Hunting in a pack on tour. <laughs> There we go. Monfils to say, you want to trade ground strokes with me? I'll trade. <laughs> That's a good backhand. Softens him up. You see, it earned him that ball in the center of the court. That's what you're looking for when these guys trade from the back. Something in the middle, maybe something short. Something they can either finish with or take control of the point with. First half chance this, particularly now getting a look at a second serve. Ah. Miss cues to the forehands, and Monfils will have a first break point to the match. A pretty clever play by the Frenchman. He kept it deep and hard right down the center of the court. He didn't give Sinner the angle. Instead, it was the air. Your crowd's been a little subdued so far, just suddenly come to life. Recognizing this is a, a big moment. Didn't look completely ready to commit to that fully. You know, his feet weren't organized underneath him. You need a good foundation if you're going to change the line of attack like that down the line. Oh. That'd be costly. Uh, First double fault of the match. It's come at the wrong time. Starting to look a little concerned under his baseball cap. Second chance for the Frenchman. Oh, he was tempted into the big forehand this time. It was just a little more discipline Goose. required. Breakpoint survived. Could do with just improving the quality of his serving to get himself out of this game. Just starting to miss a few first serves. We had a double fault the last time these two were locked in at Deuce. Oh, it's a heck 
Stick of a backhand from Monfils. Didn't overplay it, just made sure he got it down low. Exactly. And when you possess the kind of speed of Monfils, you don't have to hit a clean winner here. Make your man play a good, tough volley and then have faith in your feet to protect the rest of the court. Slider man, they call him. One of his nicknames. Third chance. Yes. There we go, that's better. Just improving the quality just in time. First ace. Yeah, I, th I think the young Italian serve is going to grow as his career grows. I mean, if he could ultimately get to the point of having a Monfils like serve, I mean, this guy could become a regular resident of the top 10, not just a visitor. Seventh minute, juice number three. to a good forehand is you're not muscling the ball. Your arm is very, in fact, very loose. <laughs> 23 shot rally. Everyone having a little fun at how close that ball was to being in less than a millimeter. Yeah, think? it must have been that kind of margin, wasn't it? Chance for Sinner to get out of this ninth game. Fantastic effort because the first serve just went off the boil a touch at the wrong time. Saves three break points along the way. It's up 5 4. Good crowd inside Armstrong for this one. Quite got a sense of how big this place is to you when you're watching on TV, but there's a huge area upstairs. The bottom section is uh, ticketed, and then fans who have. Uh, Ticket for the grounds can head to this court. There's a good match on and fill those seats upstairs. We were saying the other day, it's quite intimate courtside, isn't it? If you do, you are lucky enough to get down low. Now, this is maybe my favorite court, even more than Ash, just alongside it. Oh, there we go. Seen too much of the Monfils magic, but it's uh, normally just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, the jump man. You see the video of him dancing just before the open? Yes. After a practice session. Yeah, it doesn't have any problems with that, does it? <laughs> Another talent. I was watching his match or working on his match in Canada and it, it, I caught myself just you know, just sitting there and enjoying watching him. It had been a long time and I realised how much I, I'd missed him because he's kind of unique, oh. isn't he, in tennis? You know, we always try to remain impartial, but you, you can't fail to be entertained by this guy. Recently, dating that, a that ring is. I can't look at it, it's too bright. Yeah, that's a decent investment. 
It's a lot of forehands. He's got to be careful here. It's a set game. He's so going to take advantage of your chances to close out when you can. So he's going to take just an extra second, make sure he finds a first serve right here. If it's not an ace, it usually means a first for him. And that's what the elite guys do. They play their best shot in the biggest moments. And that's a pretty big forehand. As we said, he's got a, a, a special connection with this tournament, Galmore Face. I think he, he likes the kind of energy, the electricity, doesn't he? But, uh, this tournament brings. He's always done well in France, always in, enjoyed playing on home soil. Perhaps the US, perhaps you, New York is next on the list in terms of. Environments that inspire him, inspire him to his his best tennis. Yeah, this seemingly always the connection with the crowd. He's got to connect to the people. He's got to have something to play for. Someone to play for. Semi-finalist at the French Open as well, so. Paris and New York, his two best majors. That's so good. I'm saying that Sinner can use moments like that, but it's here's one feast getting in to knock off this floating ball on the fly. I mean, that right there. Sets up this chance. You can just ghost in so quickly as well because the movement's so good. Like he was just jogging in. He? Yeah, he doesn't ever have to think about moving. I mean, he just goes to the ball. Light. First. Second, threw one in at Juice. Well, he was uh, serving at four all. This guy's based in the, uh, the Italian Riviera. It's not too far away from Monte Carlo, around half an hour, 45 minutes by car, I think. Moved over there when he was 13. Lives in Monte Carlo, so uh, that's the journey. The journey to work. Yeah, not a bad commute. Would imagine around that's, there. Yeah, it's quite a nice drive on that coast sweet. road. Yeah. <laughs> and even though Monfils had a swing, I think Sinner at times has to make that move. He's got to apply the ultimate pressure. He's from San Candido, which is up in the. So the western edge of Italy, on the German side, you know, Sinner, more of a German name, isn't it? So his family speaks German, as do many of the Italians in that region. But they get months of snow, so he was a skier. Oh, what a shot that was. It looked like Sinner had the volley. I feel like he couldn't make a, a play on this. Did he let it go, thinking it was going to go wide? I think he did, didn't he? Just pulled the racket away. He's got to 
another chance. strikes game 11 the Frenchman will serve for this first set so first blood to Gail Monfils the 17th seed 35 years of age in fact turned 35 just uh, earlier this week on Wednesday end of his career compared to the young Italian he's got a chance to wrap up this first set now from that far back and up that high. Tremendous swing. Throwing a double fault, it just gives Sinner a bit of hope here. <laughs> oh, just squeeze that one wide. It was a good serve, but Sinner came up with a nice service return just to stay on even terms. Montfis flirted with the line. Got burned. Couple of loose forehands then, and Sinner is back in business in this opening set. Six games over. Yeah, that's the First definition set, of tiger. not clutch. I just wonder if. There is a slight knock on Monfils, maybe not the greatest pressure player. Maybe some evidence there of that. You know, bad decision making, really. Surprising, wasn't it? Double fault, a couple of missed forehands. That last one by a mile. Thank you. Have a seat, ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you. So into a breakup. to get himself out of a, a tricky situation there, Sinna. One-zero, Sinna. Yeah, Monfils was doing everything he could to try and get the ball by him, to use some angle. Ultimately tried to get it done with the lob, but that didn't work. Fired up after that stretch volley. Kept him in the point. Shot against 
against this guy. Wow. He's definitely a more face fan. It's not a bad drop shot. But he's got to do more with the volley the second time sinner. Yeah, Morphe's just appeared at that drop shot, did he? It's amazing, isn't it? Sinner's forehand cross court is really becoming an amazing shot. Because he can hit it flat, but he can also hit it with sort of topspin, that roll, and the ball carries so wide. You see, Sinner was forcing Monfils outside the doubles line almost. And that's a safe ball. It's got a lot of spin, so it's high percentage, which is pretty scary, really. On that occasion, incredible angle. Three, one. Yeah, a little Seven. bit of the same philosophy in reverse. You know, the backhand with top spin. It's a safe shot. You're hitting to a big target, but you get a little closer to the line, and your opponent is outside the doubles line again. It's a lot of running. Left. First. One. start then to this tiebreak. It's got a bit of momentum at the moment, having broken to force the breaker. Thank you. And a wonderful running forehand this time. And now he is firmly in Five, charge. One. Cinema. The body language in Monfils, completely different story from 10 minutes ago. Yeah, and look at that. That's definitely not a category you want to be leading. Mistakes. And remember, Monfils was serving for the set, looked to be in complete control, 30 love at 6 5. He's just lost it since then, just can't seem to get back to where he was. And it was a bad decision again, that last ball. You know, just hit it, come in, hit it short. You don't have to hit a winner. Oh. Gotta make some tough decisions in the course of a millisecond. <laughs> Completely off the Six, boil. One, cinnamon. We'll turn around. So five chances to go with the set. That is a very, very satisfying set to win if you're Yannick Seven Sinner. Games to six. Well, he served for it and lost his way. Sinner's stolen that one, 7-6. Yeah, this is where the time on the changeover in between sets is so valuable. Second You've got to get your head right, thinking about the Mom right things. To serve. For a player so young, Sinner has wonderful composure. Yeah, 
think about how he was up 6 5 30 love and the good things he was doing just get back to those things staying in the rally looking to turn the points in his favor Can that be harder to do when you haven't won a lot of matches this year? Yeah, looking a little disconsolate. Maltese team. That one. Some of the mistakes continue to come off the Frenchman's racket. It does not bode well for him. And Sinner's got a chance to get off to a good start here in the second. He's one of his biggest serves of the match. To back, decent first serves. Just in the nick of time. Can you pull in these games, can't you? Easy, just to Let. play these early Let's games in a set with perhaps just a little less intensity, but they can hurt you if you go down an early break. Setting the break that can set the tone. Let. Senna might be young, but he's becoming an experienced match player. That's a good play. Uh, vantage, Morphines. <laughs> he needs to pace himself. Yes, three out of five sets is tough, <laughs> right? Yeah, a good hold in the end. Might just help. Levels back up. So you talked about becoming a more experienced match player. That's that's Sinner, and that's part of that process you talked about with Ricardo Piatti. And Piatti was saying that you can't really know your game well until you've played. It was 125 matches. Use that as a number. But that's part of the process, understanding match play, and your game within that context. Yeah, I think I'm right in saying he, he would purposely get Sinner to play at a young age better players, so he would lose matches and try and learn from that experience. It's just about when you get some use, youngsters who just blaze their way through juniors, don't you win a bunch of junior Grand Slam titles, didn't play a lot of uh, a lot of that kind of tennis. It was it was men's tennis really that he was he was cutting his teeth in. Always that long term view, which isn't easy when you're a kid, but he seems to have bought into that from a very young age. I think that's a reflection of his maturity, isn't it? His personality. And he gets that, I think, from his Dad parents. Did. His dad is a, a chef, I believe, a restaurant. These his moms are, you know, hostess at the restaurant. You know, they work hard, they put in long hours, so he has real respect for hard work. and the things it takes to get ahead in life. Game. I love service game. So he has a bit of momentum, does the Italian, when you can win a One game like that game on game serve. Second. And you talked about playing sort of up. You played men's tennis as a kid. You learned from losing. Jim Courier, former world number one Grand Slam champion, said, I, I preferred to learn by winning. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good too, but I think the losses are more acute 
more deeply ingrained when you lose. Oh. Uh, the gym did a lot of losing. I was about to say, that's a luxurious position to be in, isn't yes. it? Yes, former world number one finalist here, right? Yeah. One, one Roland Garros, won the Australian Open, but never the U.S. That's his best shot, the forehand cross court. It just seems so devastating, and he can hit it in different ways. But that was just a bullet. And if you watch his forehand when he hits it, I mean, the arm almost wraps around his head. And the idea is you don't want to decelerate on the swing. You want to accelerate through the swing with that loose arm. Great one there, Morfis. He's so good off his back foot. Seems to be in a bit of trouble, but he comes up with something good. Oh, he sent a story to his opening service game of this set. His best tennis in time, it would seem. Oh. Oh. Me. Not sure what happened there. Fies also possesses an excellent forehand. The volley this time gets away from him. They're sort of halfway between a high volley or a smash. He isn't quite sure what to do. Looks like he might have lost it up in the light. Ten aces winning that battle comfortably. Just the two for the Italian. Just missed the volley from Sinner. And Morfis gets out of jail New again. Balls, please. Two one. One so one two. Watched Monfils in that rally. He hit a number of great shots, but he never improved his position in the rally. You know, he stayed that five, six feet behind the baseline. You know, there, there are opportunities to get up on that baseline, take a little more time away. Excellent angle again on the forehand. It's fun to follow exchanges like that with the low camera. Because you get a sense of the physicality required and the movement and how these guys produce their shots.
Ready. Okay, the defensive capabilities, the movement of Monfils, just perhaps forcing Sinner into a little bit too much on his forehand. Seems to be through that rough patch, Monfils, now, doesn't he? to avoid going down an early break in this set. It's pressing here. Oh. of the movement these players have to produce to stay in that kind of point a little reaction time they have the shape of the ball over the net as well something you don't necessarily see from the traditional camera angle yeah because the ball clears the net by you know, five to ten feet so there's a lot of margin there a lot of safety despite hitting the ball very fast very hard and you can see that last ball didn't have any topspin, did it? It was very flat, so it just kept traveling. The topspin is the best shot you can hit because the ball's going to spin in. Game cinema. And essentially, spin is another word for control. So if you're hitting the ball hard, spin is going to help you make it go in more regularly. Two games over. Second set. Tight opening to the second set. We look around the grounds once more. Just a reminder to head to the official website, usopen.org. That's your online home for point by point live scoring, highlights, and the stats from all the matches that are underway around the grounds. The results of the day, news, interviews, scheduled for Sunday will be appearing soon. Let's so head into the last 16. Second set. That's an amazing pace. Fading love. And this court is fairly fast as well. So these guys are having to use explosive movements to cover the ball. Territory down in his opening service game of this second set. He was down in his second. Here we are again, 15:30. Oh. Oof. That's one of the biggest. <laughs> yeah, that was exclamation point of a forehand. Just crush that inside out. Plant. Second second. Cinema's way out of court, but the maybe 30 all. Perhaps it wasn't uh, quite the right time to throw that in. It's a little risky. Cinema with another chance now. He's already had a couple of break points in this set. Oh. 
games in Double a fault. A third of this second set. And Morphy serve Sinner going off the boil at the wrong time. Games to two. And Sinner in charge now, set and a break. We we'll find ourselves during these two weeks of Grand Slam tennis. It's been quite an opening week. So many big stories, so many fantastic matches. Eyes in the back of your head yesterday, didn't you? What did you make of Alcaraz just quickly? Brilliant effort. I mean, a star is born after a performance like that. And he was always on the radar, but I think he's on a bigger stage now for the performance like that. It says a lot. Yeah, that was another level, wasn't it? It's going to be fascinating to see whether he can get his feet back on the ground tomorrow. You don't have too much time to. Process those kind of victories to you at yeah. Grand Slams. I think what makes him fun to watch too is he's. I think he, he does. He doesn't play with the typical Spanish philosophy, which is more about hitting balls in play and using your feet. He's. He's a bit of a slasher. He's a shot maker. It's fun to watch. And he does it off both wings, forehand and backhand. This kid's pretty good, too. <laughs> the future uh, is bright. You're the master of understatement. <laughs> look at this forehand. I mean, you can't go line here. It's just too dangerous. You can't cover that. That's why if you're defending, tough to defend down the line. You've got to go middle or cross. Okay. Well, too good. I mean, what can you do about that? That's good first serve and the first forehand. Ricardo Piatti saying, see, I told you, <laughs> no, we can do this. And that's part of having a good team behind you as you grow together. And there's that amazing trust between coach and player. Because coaching matters. <laughs> you know, they say, well, can these tennis players do it on their own? Maybe. But for most of them, they need good coaches and teams around them. Isn't it? Piatti, some of the players he's worked with. Check this list out Djokovic, Lubacic, Gasquet, Raonic, Chorich. Working with uh, Sharapova towards the end of her career as well, wasn't he? Oh. What interested me, he, he deliberately got Yannick to spend some time with Maria just to, I suppose, feed off that champion mindset, really. Yeah. Went out for dinner a couple of times and. Maria was at the Piatti Academy, so he could just get that vibe, I suppose. Different, different kind of way of doing things. Yeah, and Piatti has said, too, that it's important that Sinner, you know, not just spend time with them, but also watch the great players play. And what do they do under pressure? How do they perform? What, what are the secrets that you can garner from watching these guys play and gals? And who did Rafael Nadal ask to practice with him during the quarantine in Australia? He asked Yannick Sinner. And the forehand cross court. Interesting there, Mofis went right back to the forehand. Good serve. And Piatti said that that two weeks with Rafa Nadal was significant in Sinner's development just to practice with one of the greats. What do the greats do each day to get better? thought about that too. Piatti said that Sinner and Nadal were a little bit alike. He said they both have that drive for perfection, that the dedication and hard work to be great. It's really interesting. Yeah, 
it's almost exactly the same philosophy. And then you go back to Alcaraz as well. Yesterday, you know, his team, led by Juan Carlos Ferreira, they talk about building a wall. It's every day is a new brick. You know? mm -hmm. It's a good philosophy. So much uh, junior tennis is results-based. So much focus on that. Taking control of this match, Yannick Sinner. Base level has just been a little bit better than Monfils's so far today. Starting to look like the second set's done. Getting used to saying that. Maybe a nice year or so. He can just serve out this second set. 5 2. Territory, the Italian at this uh, tournament. Love. Best effort of the major so far. It's a quarter final. That was uh, the French Open last autumn, the, the French Open that was pushed back. It's really his breakthrough one, was a breakthrough run at uh, major level. Oh. Yeah, for Sinner, he. Lost to Rafael Nadal in the quarterfinals. But that was Rafa's closest match. He beat Novak convincingly in the championship match, but the quarterfinal against Sinner was Nadal's most competitive encounter. Of his championship run. I think after that match, Nadal said, I want to practice with this guy. That's one thing the great players do. They they grab the most talented young guy. They can get those young guys to bring that energy to the court. Plus, they get an idea of what it's going to take to beat them. A little bit of research while you're training. It was pretty comfortable. That second set for Yannick Senna did a good job of Carrying over the momentum from late in the first. He's firmly in control of this match right now. Leads by two sets to love. Monfils trying to find some energy. He's going to need it now. He's going to take the scenic route, trailing by two sets to love. See whether he can get something going. Monfils is one of those very few guys. He can ignite a crowd, and sometimes I watch him, and I'm, I'm getting that feeling today. He, he's been a little bit subdued emotionally. I just wonder whether that's something he tries to change in the third set. You know, often, from time to time, don't we? we see him whip up? He'll do something extraordinary. He'll whip up the crowd, and it can almost turn the match in a heartbeat. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think he did a little bit of that in the first set. When he got the break, you know, he roared to the crowd. But then he just let it get away from him. Played a bad game, bad tie break, and he hasn't recovered. I don't know whether it's fatigue, but he looks a little disheartened. Right, lower leg strapped. Injuries have been part of the story, of course, with the Frenchman. He's been unlucky in that sense. I think at times it's been the way he's played his tennis as well, hasn't he? Hasn't necessarily helped him hurling himself around hard courts from time to time. I think famously he was he twisted his ankle on the way to a court once, I think, didn't he? I think that was in I want to say Bucharest, but <laughs> Had to withdraw before the match started. <laughs> Only Monfils would do that. <laughs> but we love him because of what he can bring to a tennis court. But it hasn't found his best yet today. 
And it's a, it's a tough proposition today when he's 35 years of age set. and he's trying to soak up pressure from this youngster who is just crushing the ball off both wings. I think physically this is a very demanding challenge. If, can he do that kind of thing at 35? You know, I think he, he'll definitely have his moments. This youngster's got his eyes on some of the heroes. <laughs> Like a star of the future, and that's a that kit. His hair is almost as long as yours, Lee. <laughs> you get the funny feeling you got that headband and the sweatbands right here at the open. What do you think? Right now at the shop outside the stadium, looking good. Sinner, you're extremely happy with the scoreboard. You're happy that it's been a fairly subdued match so far. I'm not interested in drama this afternoon, just getting this done as quickly as possible. See what he can achieve in what would be the second week of this final major of the year. on his front foot <laughs> dictating play he's going to come out on top more often obviously his wife would like to see more of these beautiful strikes Alina in action tomorrow in the last 16 she plays Halep in the fourth round to possess one single shot on a tennis court I, I suppose you might say well a good serve but I think a good forehand might be the best thing for you Body, so the more weapons you have the better you're off and uh, I think Sinner is going to grow that serve into a weapon it's, it's a pretty good serve right now it's not great yet He's very tall, six feet, two inches. Game it's coming along pretty good. That was a good game there. One game on Thursday. I can remember when Juan Martin Del Potro first came on the scene. His serve was, you know, he, he hit his first serve, you know, 150 miles an hour. You know, by the end of his career, or I don't know if he's still going to try and come back. Let's hope he does. But, he, you know, 125, 130. It was one of the bigger shots in the game. Oh. And Sinner is just 20. Let's and that's part of the Seven. process with Piatti is growing his body stronger. to rise starting the match serving so well that's a sixth double fault now he's got to be careful giving the Italian cheap points on his own serve
Sinner did a great job getting that return back into play. 13, 14. If the alarm bells aren't going off for the Frenchman, they should pretty soon. There. It's funny how a little pressure, a little tension can change the execution of your shot. Just didn't allow that forehand to release. Coaches like to use the term decelerate. And you want to accelerate through the shot. Himself out of trouble, just clinging on at this stage. Monfils leads two games to one. Thursday. Gets himself in front Sinner eventually. Two sets to love. After three games of this third set. On serve, early stages of the third set. The noise from Monfils. That's what I was referring to. Not many guys can get a crowd on his side so quickly. He can easily have this place in the palm of his hand if he wants to. Perhaps just started to recognize that he could do with a bit of extra help. Trying to look in his face all of a sudden. <laughs> Back comes Sinner, that was a nice solid point at love 30. Be alert to opportunities like that where you can come in and volley balls out of the air. It's a test of your recognition skills, your concentration, that you can see that opportunity. Oh, what a return. His best of the match. Is this the moment Monfils comes alive? He liked it. <laughs> Got some moves. Chances for the Frenchman now. Get something going in this third set. Listen to your wife, you can see Alina saying, come on. It's got a break point again. Yes. Close to hopping over, but Senna survives. Right, hasn't been the best for Monfils so far. One out of six for the match. He's going to take these chances at this stage. Surprised that Sinner pulled that into the Monfils for him. Take your chances when you go into that wing. I 
Speaking of chances, here's another. Third chance to get a third game. Tennis in the biggest moments today. And at this level, where the margins are so fine, that can make the difference between winning and losing. Certainly, the story in the first set. Exchange. Talking about Sinner's forehand cross court. How about the Frenchman's? That's how he can make the Italian feel uncomfortable in this environment. Fourth break point, second serve. Survives again. Just a bit more discipline yes. re required that time from the Frenchman. Yeah, but you can almost understand the error. I mean, Sinner hits such a good ball. And again, Morfis, by the time he hits, is almost outside the doubles alley. And you feel like you've got to go big. You can't protect all that space. You feel that urge to finish the point, release the pressure. Process for Monfils if this game does slip away. Interesting to see whether it has any effect on his next service game. Sinner does hold here for two apiece. He does indeed. Game to come through, but perhaps the feeling that Monfils. Let him off the hook there. A little bit. I, I mean, it's a little combination of Sinner playing some pretty good tennis. He's played the big points well. Two games and that's over. been the Third. difference so far. Obviously, both these guys equally talented. Head to the social channels to follow all the events here at Flushing Meadows US Open 2021. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can join the conversation with hashtag US Open. Tennis he has to play. He's got to be the boss out there. Maintain the initiative, get on the front foot. I mean, there's a good ball to set up this one. See, he's completely set. He's got a good foundation on that one. And just enough width on the backhand pass. Make things difficult for Sinner. This third from Monfils, but he's got to keep this going.
Sigh of relief from Gail's Monty wife. Sees three games to two. Thursday. Moves ahead, Sinner three two. two sets to die. Tough a challenge all of a sudden. Two three. like a little bit of body English the Frenchman was trying to perform with that one. Is it still body English if you're French? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. It didn't work, but he tried to get that ball to land on the line. Maybe that's why. Wrong language. Yeah, <laughs> should have tried body French. See, this is where Sinner can really elevate his game when he can have you know service games like this and get a lot of good first serves in. Oh. And he's sort of around that 124 mark, which is big. And I think he's got to start doing it more consistently. Oh. And, and avoid Good. those kinds of things. 15. His first serve percentage for the match is 57%. You know, you're aiming for about 65. Linda Bencic served today, 78% for a serve. Unbelievable. She won 6 2, 6 3. Oh. Yeah, that was a good win, wasn't it, against Jess Pakula? Yeah, so I mean, if you take someone who's a good ground stroker and give them a potent serve, they're going to be tough to beat. Oh, that's enough to change a bracket, maybe. 14, 15. No. Running repairs. Yeah, he's one of those players who always has you know, tape wrapped around his fingers. I don't, I don't know whether his skin dries and then cracks a little bit. So he needs to have some tape around it to keep it together. Yeah, Rafa Nadal wears a fair amount of tape Three on his hand, and he has those on. issues. Thursday. A lot like Bjorn Borg, the great Swede. And so he had tape. Oh, John Lloyd, the British player, also taped up his hands. Pretty, pretty much every digit. Didn't miss by much, the, uh, the tweener. Three apiece. Strings. Oh. Out. Fifteen all. Sometimes when you possess all the talent that Monfils has, you can get a little lazy with your feet. It was one of those instances. Seen too much of that today. Mixing in a bit of serve volley. Now for Monfils. And the 
don't seem, you know, sometimes they don't seem to be too costly, but all of a sudden you're back to juice, yeah. aren't you? Whenever you look at breaks of serve, it seems the percentage is pretty high that there's been a double fault in there somewhere. A free point can really change players' attitudes toward the game. Oh, oh dear, another two in the same game. Advantage, point chance for the young Italian. long Sinner grasps the opportunity and this could be done Sinner leads four game to three Thurston and by two, two sets to long holds of serve away now 4-3 surprising service game on the back of a passage of play that had been more positive for the Frenchman 40-15, double fault, going back to 40-30, another double fault. And... Just lost his way at the wrong time. There's been a, a few of those today. But in truth, the, the bread and butter of the Frenchman hasn't really been good enough. The level of consistency. Pretty good, though. It sure is. Incredible the talent to hit a winner from that far back in the court. It's a pretty safe looking ball. We've hit it deep, fairly central. Morpheus just says no. first serve percentage he has served well at the big moments which is most important you know Yvonne Lendl a guy who got to eight straight finals here said tell me my first serve percentage at 1530 Let or at deuce or down break point first. And those are the most important times when you want to get a first serve in So well to stay in the point for so long.
Right inside Armstrong, wanna yes. enjoy this guy a little longer. his last half chance here at Juice. Sled. Knows how to light it up. Uh, monkeys. And this crowd is eating it up. Huge moment, huge opportunity for the Frenchman. One out of eight break points converted today by Monfils. Zero of four in this third set. He's got to try and take one of these sooner or later. at one for nine yeah. Yeah, that is tough yeah. sort of missed opportunity starts to wear on him I suppose you've got to give some credit to this guy as well haven't you always something that you're looking to do come through those those big moments that long so there will be another chance uh, there could be some decent volume if he uh, converts this break point it's tenth of the match out of nine so far. Yes. And I think you're right. Sinner has really played well on those points. He hasn't given away the error. High percentage of first serves. So the younger man today has dealt with the pressure just a little bit better. That's been the difference. to Monkeys. present themselves. <laughs> I'm not sure what that look says. I'm sure he's trying to figure this out. What's it going to take? Monfils converts. 
Will this be a turning point in this contest? Goal game show, Thurston. He's definitely got the support of the crowd now. And you know what they say, Lee, it's not a break of serve until you hold your serve. So this is now another huge moment for Molfis. He's got to get ahead. And that's a good way to start. Just the right time. Let's just see. The last couple of minutes has been pretty good. Finally gets his nose in front. So he to stay in this third set all of a sudden. It's a tidy start. No ordinary 20 year old. Yeah, look at that finish. The follow through, it ends up behind his back. Incredible. of the pressure starting to build, starting to have an effect on Sinner. Two points away from extending this contest. to finish it. Set points for the 17th seed. in business turned on the style in the latter stages of that third set and we're heading into a fourth 
Confused. Able to continue that level of intensity that he was able to Thank you. find towards the end of the third. Fourth set underway. Almost like he was teasing us all afternoon. Particularly if the ball is sitting there in the middle of the court. He's really developing an understanding of how he's got to get his body in these positions. Obviously, he's so good side to side, but moving to the ball, he's getting it right as well. Straight as an Dude. arrow. His coach was very happy with this change of directions. Look at the preparation, that shoulder turn. And that's not open stance. That's more traditional with the feet. So if you have time, it's still good to get that right foot down. Some of the crowd thought the point was done. Right there, you thought that was it. What an effort. <laughs> Even Monfils has to applaud that effort. He played to get the early break. Goodness me, this young man is made of stone stuff. Yeah, Morfis looked to be steadying, looked to be playing his best tennis, but a couple of brilliant points. And you can see what it means to him. A break now in the fourth. And what a way to start off. I know it's just the first game, but that can set the tempo for what's to come. Now the Italian has to take care of his serve. Remember, it's not a break until you take care of your own serve. As responses go, though, it is impressive, isn't it? Because it was all Monfils. The atmosphere was building. The vast majority of this place getting behind the Frenchman. <laughs> There's one sinner fan. <laughs> oh, hang on. That looked like Lee Goodall, didn't it? In the morning, anyway. <laughs> Like me after calling the uh, the Al Out. Alcaraz sits a match yesterday. Baby. Yeah, that was a, that was a late long match, wasn't it? That young man's got a souvenir. That these people get to take these tennis balls home. You don't have to give them back. It's pretty nice. Oh. We're always looking, aren't we, that how situations and matches affect players, especially the younger ones. You learn. An awful lot about their qualities. And 
And it's A-plus from Sinner in the last five minutes. Yeah, it's done two things. It's given him the lead, and it's taken the crowd out of the match, hasn't it? And suddenly, it's, you can hear a pin drop in here. Away wrestling back control of this contest. Speed around the court, the movement, which is another of his assets, not good enough on that occasion. It's too much heat from Monfils. Such a loose arm. His follow through doesn't come around as high, but you can see it wraps around his back. Sequence of plays there from Alfies. The return was very sharp. So important time to find a, a good first serve. First serve percentage still not as high as he would ideally want. 55% for the match. A good aggressive hitting. Yes. Sinner would like to get this game quietly, get to 2-0. As Monfils gets the break back, suddenly he's reactivated this crowd. Backhand up the line, it was just too inviting. He couldn't say no to it. Asking for a little bit of quiet. This is a fairly boisterous crowd. And the service, a moment when you do want to have a little bit of quiet, a little stillness. 
Both coaches know this is a key stage of this match. Initial volley, but finished the job, and it's a good hold. Center leads. It really Two is. Monfils was playing a very good, uh, good return game there. This guy's got a lot of composure, Sinner, for someone so young. You can obviously see a few nervous moments in his game. That's to be expected. It's a lot of tension out here, but he does find a way to steady himself. He's got a good head on his shoulders. You know, handles the time between points well. Steps up, ready to play. Land prison. He's doing some good stuff off the court as well. Yannick Sinner has been involved in a, a project on social media lately to increase awareness of uh, mental health in his age group. That's a nice touch, you know, recognizing that it's been a tough period for youngsters his kind of age. Set up some interviews with other. Well-known Italians. They've got uh, English subtitles, by the way, as well, so you can check those out. There. Nice, uh, nice project to get involved with. It's called "What's Kept You Moving." If you want to check that out, punch that into a search engine alongside Sinner's name. to do here, Monfils. This is a must-win game, really. Oh. Whoa. That was way off target. News. the towel he needs to reset here into Bresnik the man on the right <laughs> well, this could be curtains from on face if this game slips away Service games, isn't it? Where it's come out of nowhere, he's in firm control, just seems to lose his focus for a minute or so. Oh. And he's got the break from out of nowhere. He's looking a little lost as he heads to his chair. Can't quite believe that that game has slipped away. Sinner with a double break, 3-0. Interesting stat, great point saved by the Italian. The tournament and how effective he's been in that department today as well. Thank you, please. Saved 9 out of 12 oh. against Monfils. It's going to be a number that... Uh, a little painful to read for the Frenchman. La 15. 
definitely generated opportunities today. He's struggled to find sort of a consistent level of production. series the Italian has launched recently it was also busy during the lockdown once the, the pandemic shut down the tours he, he created the sinner pizza challenge <laughs> yes this that is, was really fun I like this this is nice donated 10 euros for every photo he received of a pizza that resembled himself or any past or present Italian figure <laughs> the mind boggles isn't it Clearly, he's a, good, a great tennis player, but he's, he's a good kid off court as well. Piatti has described him as the son every family would be proud of. And that, as you said, and that comes from his parents, doesn't he, his upbringing. Those guys have got a lot of respect for him as a, a human being as well as a tennis player. Berrettini is sort of the man in Italian tennis, but Sinner's face is getting pretty well known in Italy. He's got a number of sponsorship deals, and he is one of the bright lights in Italian sport, not just tennis. Oh. Of course, Berrettini's already in the fourth round with his win earlier today. Game seven. Uh, fourth game. He's getting close to taking the fourth set. Center leads. Four games to left. Fourth set. Of course, the winner of this one takes on the winner of Sasha Zverev and Jack Sock. And that's an evening schedule. Ash Stadium, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Second match this evening after... Ash Barty and uh, Shelby Rogers reminded to head to the US Open shop, the online home. For the, uh, this year's US Open merchandise, that's usopenshop.org, the official shop for 2021 US Open kit. He's already the Italian number two, Yannick Sinner, behind Berrettini. Berrettini top ten, but Sinner, Sinner's ranking will be improving. Chance for him to move closer to the top ten for the first time. Decent chance he might be in Turin at the end of the year as well at the Benito ATP Finals, the, the ATP's season-ending championships. Oh. Looks like Berrettini will be there, which will be a fantastic occasion for the Italian fans. Scoreboard moving finally in this fourth set. Perhaps a case of too little, too late. Fans inside this magnificent stadium in New York have enjoyed this one. Sinner in control. Some of the double break in the fourth. Perhaps a few of them getting to uh, watch this guy for the first time. Love. 
15. It looked like he collapsed a little bit on that serve. Dragged it down into the net. You've got to explode with your legs up at the ball. That energy upwards carries the net. He's got to be strong in the legs. Shaking it out. Feeling loose. Maybe just a little tension. He's trying to release. He's trying to move into new territory for the first time. Have to be a big deal kind of for the youngsters. Second week of these biggest tournaments in the world. Thank you. Please stop clapping. Thank you. advantage of what Sinner is giving him here. A couple of early gifts in the game, then you add this. Now he's got chances to get one of the two breaks back. Thank you. Please. Saved. So exactly one more. That's where the first serve is so vital. Get this point started to your advantage. Try and get back to Deuce. Oh, that's too good. And throwing to the final pass, of course. Coming around the outside of the ball, creating enough angle. Cena leads four games to two. Four. Gail might have been apologizing for that miss hit return. But that's, that's a ground stroker's DNA right there. That ball has to go up the line. You go cross court, you leave too much space. You got to cover line. And then he's got this one cross court, back where the ball came from. So Sinner's still in good shape, but a little tighter now. And of course, Sinner was up a break in the third, wasn't he? So if you're a yep. player who's been in that situation, that's presumably something you're trying to Push to one side. You don't want those demons derailing things again. Absolutely. Oh, you can't miss that one. Yeah, there was a time when people used to talk about the value of the seventh game, how key it was. And the game is so. You know, the margins are so narrow now in the game that every game is vital. Obviously, this game will lead to the next game, which is going to be vital. <laughs> the great down mask goal, wasn't it? The vital seventh. <laughs> it was always the seventh game, yeah. These guys are so good now. I mean, you get a break in the first game. That's a huge step. 
as the score progresses, each game becomes equally valuable. Each point. He's missed a few of those up the line, but that one he secured pretty nicely right on the line. Again, nice setup, shoulder turn. Well, things started to get interesting in this fourth, as they did in the third. He was down 4-0. Three in a row for Monfils. Turning into a fun atmosphere once more inside Louis Armstrong. Thank you. Monfils Thank you. prepares another challenge. Senna still with a break. Oh. Not less comfortable all, Please. all of a sudden. Exactly the same situation he found himself in the third. Again, Sinner so just ultimately exposing Monfils. Once he gets the Frenchman on the run wide, Monfils has to make those decisions. Do I try and end the point or do I stay in it? And oftentimes he tries to go for something big, feeling that's his only way out. that time. It's been a good game so far from the Italian. No signs of any cracks at this stage. game is looking very different from 30 love to 30 all. Opportunity Monfils was hoping for this looked highly unlikely ten minutes ago. And that's been Monfils' biggest cheerleader, a little man in the red shirt. Well, he'll end up with a, a gift a little later on this evening. The Frenchman. This 
16th break point today. And he breaks in style. <laughs> and once more electrifies this famous court. Game on now. He delivered an absolute bone crushing forehand. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a big first point just to get ahead. to use the crowd now riding the wave inside Armstrong he's so unique as a tennis player in his ability to be able to do this just ignite a crowd in the blink of an eye and he's got this crowd back reinvested in this match. They had gone away. I'd love for it, and maybe with good reason. Maybe we can maintain it. Hasn't been able to today, has he? There have been patches. Yeah, it's been a very erratic performance for Monfils. It's reflected in the scoreline. And Sinner's been fairly erratic as well. For all 30 all. Flat first one. Timely ace. The 19th for the Frenchman. <laughs> A wry smile there. He's got a point for 5 4. Moves ahead for the first time in this fourth set. This is what they came to see. All the pressure on Sinner now. Marfis leads five games to four. Sinner leads five, two sets to one. We talk about momentum in tennis matches an awful lot. Feast with that momentum Thank you. right now. Five games in a row he's won. Baby it's hard to imagine for Sinner being up two breaks. So he's got to steady the ship and find a way to take care of his serve here. It's a tough situation, isn't it? Especially if this set slips away, you know. 4 3 serving in the third, 4 love, double break in the fourth. That's. Not many players recover from that sort of territory if you, if you then go two sets apiece. He's got to just try and find a way of hustling his way through this game. Just get the scoreboard to five apiece somehow. A huge injection of pace into that forehand. From a position very deep in the court, still had tremendous effect.
a good distance. And it must be an uncomfortable position to be in right now for Yannick Sinner. Two set points for the Frenchman. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Please. What an incredible turnaround. Six games, to four. Two, Six games in a row for the Frenchman. Two sets apiece. So here we go. Settle in for what proof. Promises to be a fascinating conclusion to this one. We'd uh, counted out Gelman Fies around 20 minutes ago. Now four love in that fourth set. He found a way to raise this game. And in truth, Yannick Sinner played a poor fourth set. See whether the Italian can get things back on track. That's a great start. Remember, a place in the last 16 is up for grabs. It'll be either Sverev or Jack Sock. The winner of this match faces. In the fourth round on Monday. Yeah, this is where also three out of five set tennis can be very tricky. You've got to ride the waves of momentum that come. Both guys have had erratic outings today. Oh. You've got to settle in and find your best tennis right now. Jumped into that down the line a little early. Good hitting. Five centers are tough on the players. Tough on the coaches as well. <laughs> Remember Shamil Tarpashev, the Russian Davis Cup captain, he said sitting in the chair courtside is like sitting in an electric chair. I thought that was a funny line because you have to ride the waves of emotions with your player. Must have two great points, saved with another ace. And the moves on to 20 for Monfils today. Just three for Sinner. Oh, he's got the break. Yeah, that's a tough way to start the final set. And I, yes, he's done some amazing things to come back from deficits, but you don't want to have to test yourself again. Sinner deals with the situation if he builds another lead in his fifth set. So 4 3 in the third, or is it 4 love in the fourth? It's going to be playing in your mind if, if and when he gets close to the finish line today. And it puts a little more pressure on his serve, and he hasn't served particularly well today. Very rarely do you hear guys say when they're playing well, I'm not serving well. Usually it's serving. Having a good serving day means you're playing well. That's a great point. Oh. It's just 
amazing that there's a shot that Monfils cannot get to. I mean, this guy gets to everything. I mean, this is a good ball here. Tracks it down and nearly gets to this one. That's a really great move, isn't it? From Sinner, evidence that that's the next layer of the game that uh, he and Piatti's team are working on. That's what it's all about, building day in, day out. such things a finished product is there as a, a tennis player you know you're constantly in evolving refining honing that he's missed that backhand cross court. Yeah, this is automatic game plan. When, when you serve out wide, it's automatic game plan. You just hit to that open court. Surprised that he found the net. You can see he's trying to get his legs activated. You've got to be down where the ball is. He was a little bit upright. To the match goes the way of the youngster. Great stamina. Yeah, it was a really clever play from Monfils, just that little low backhand. But Sinner made a good decision here. He didn't try to do too much with the ball. He just did what the ball told him to do. Okay, I've got to come in, and I'm coming straight ahead. I'm keeping the ball in front of me. And that's the way to play a point like that. to be enough. Couple of seriously physical exchanges back to back. These guys are just tugging for some air. having to dig pretty deep to find a way through this. I guess you could say he played that fourth set like a 20-year-old. You know, four love, two breaks. Just wasn't tidy enough with serve. However, we have to give Mofis some credit. He's getting a lot of these returns back in play, first or second serve. So Sinner hasn't been handed Sinner it. two games to love. But both have played well at different times. I'm not sure they've played well at the same time. I guess we've had these huge swings of momentum. Obviously has a lot more experience playing five-set matches, Monfils. In fact, he's racked up 35 during the course of his career. 
record just in the positive, 18-17. In his favour. Sin has played only three. It's more than one of those three, the Italian. Bear, the Frenchman at Roland Garros. So it's more in the fifth. Murphy's just cannot afford to get down a double break again. There's a miraculous recovery in the fourth. Expect to do it again in the fifth, can you? Oh. Oh, it's incredible tennis, this stage of the match. He's digging deep this time. Oh. And he clings on. Could prove to be. A big moment in this deciding set. Sinner leads two games to one. Finals. Already with the advantage, 2 1 with the break. A huge crowd in place for the conclusion of this one. A six at the open. Sinner with the break, 2 1. String dampener inserted in that string bed. Oh. Yeah, Monfils, I think, likes the ball to come to him when it's deep in position in the court. When he tries to cut the ball off on the baseline, he tends to make a few more errors. I don't think that's his natural play. Action now from Sinner almost after every single service point he wins. He's determined to make amends. He already had chances to finish this match. There in terms of this decider, it's been a good start. Sinner leads three games to one. Yeah, that's the, the kind of service game you want to deliver. Lots of first serves, and good solid swings from the back when he's got his legs working well. In a part of the US Open delivered to your door with the US Open at home suite. With premium and exclusive merchandise like the official towel. New York. Ah. Juice glasses, that's the famous cocktail from the Open. And uh, much more, you can check that out at the US Open shop, usopenshop.org.
to take care of those balls in the center of the court. Now this one here sets up the finisher. And again, he likes this position. He's got a little more time. If he can stay to within a single break, then the pressure will undoubtedly build on Sinner. will be the, the aim at this stage of this set. He was in a deep, deep position, and he came storming forward. Look at where he is and where he gets. And he stays down nicely on that ball. Really well done on the backhand. Oh, that is incredible. One of the best of the match. Fighting fire with fire, Yannick yes. Sinner. Wow, from outside the doubles line. On the dead run. Oh. Oh, the pressure mounting on the French uh, mole. All of a sudden, we've seen this. Age. A couple of times today, previously, where he's been in control of service games, all of a sudden finds himself in a hole. Thank you. Dials up the first serve. Distraction. Game point, Monfils. And he holds. Good effort. And he does, for now, keep it to a single break of serve. That could prove vital. We shall see. Sinner ahead. 3 2. So midway through this deciding set, Sinner still with the advantage. 3 2. Sitting here thinking, Leaf, as well. This, if he does come through this, this could be an important victory in terms of his development at Grand Slam level, having having been in a winning position twice and somehow finding a way through. Yeah, and sort of to his information, understanding of playing these long five-set matches. Because if you want to ultimately end up in the winner's circle of one of these majors, you're going to have to navigate waters like this. Troubled, ups and downs. Got to keep your nerve and keep your head about you. Amazing investment in physical energy from both these men. Okay, physically, haven't they? I'm sure there's fatigue there, but. Please. Oh! There's also a fair amount of adrenaline. I mean, this crowd is providing a lot of energy for these two guys. Please do not cheer. Thank you. Yeah, I think it was a call perhaps just before Sinner struck that backhand. So 
Someone getting a little excited ahead of themselves. And the test for the Italian, 30 all. Sinner has been looking to his camp. He's got a sea of support amidst this ocean of Monfils fans. There's his team. From Sinner and a chance for Monfils now. And again, signs perhaps the Italian starting to feel the strain. Under pressure. Yeah. Amazing one two punch. Mulphys did yes. well with the return. And center through and over the top of that forehand. Oh. Another shot of Alina Svitolina, by the way. She's first up on Arthur Ashe Stadium tomorrow. I wonder what. This is doing to her. It's not the ideal prep, but uh, she's not going anywhere. And emotionally, it must be exhausting, it's, isn't it? I, I'm actually a little surprised, but I know she wants to be there for her man, yes. Maybe she feels she can manage it. She's used to playing long, tough matches. That's her specialty as well. Fabulous effort from the youngster to come through another difficult situation. He's not quite there yet. And again, he's put himself into a really strong position. Interesting to note this year in deciding sets, and this is a deciding fifth, Sinner nine and five. The Frenchman in deciding sets this year. Two and six. Thank you. So are we going to go on recent history? Thank you. Or is it going to be experience? Goodness me, did so well steering the initial backhand onto the sideline. And how cool was the lob? Yeah, watch this defense down to the one hander. He just manages to keep it in. And then just a little bit of magic. on that occasion. He's starting to feel 
this physically by the looks of things. <laughs> he always has that habit of reaching down, grabbing the lip of the left shoe. His hands resting on his knees. Seed. Now that has been his biggest and best shot today, the forehand cross court. Whether it's that bullet that he hits or the one that he hits with a fair amount of shape to open up the court. A service game of Monfistas where he's seemingly in charge. Plays a couple of loose points. Yes. And now he's in a scrap. Back to back. Uh, Sinna now poised Sinna. to take advantage. Thank you. He's about to find himself up as a double break for a second successive set. Please. To that one. Yes. What an occasion this is becoming. What a crowd we have. Enjoying this one now. I suspect it might get a little bit bigger because they've just finished on Arthur Ashe Stadium. So a few might filter over and try and find a seat on the upper tier. Fantastic hold of serve. Trying to draw every ounce of energy. From the love inside the stadium. 4 3. It's been a fascinating contest, this one. Sinner has been in a good position. Initially in the third set, he was up two sets to love. He was serving at 4-3. That one got away from him. He was up four love in the fourth. That set got away from him. Again, he finds himself in a strong position. 4-3. Can hold his nerve. And what has been a familiar situation for the... 20 year old from Italy. I suspect we might have a few twists and turns to come. Tie break at Thank six you. all, remember. Thank you. Got a few of those this week. Let person. 
the more dramatic than Carlos Alcaraz's final set tiebreak victory over Sitsipas yesterday. The last five setters that uh, Monfils played here at the US Open, that was settled by a tie-break. Oh. In the quarter-finals against another Italian, Berrettini, getting the better of the Frenchman on that occasion. 7-5 in the deciding breaker. And to Bresnik, his coach looking calm, and then Svitolina, slightly less so maybe, at this stage of the match. Pretty clever. You know, oftentimes, Day under tremendous Day pressure, it's hard to play with finesse well. Because you have to have a pretty sure hand. You can see him just change the grip at the last second. Just to open up the racket face a little bit to make that drop shot happen. Forehand drops in. Yeah, so when we talk about him having a great forehand, yeah, he can drive the ball, he can play with topspin, but he's got the drop shot too. But that's another layer of skill that he possesses. And now we'll test his nerve. 30 all. Oh. He's never been into the round of 16 at the US Open before Yannick Sinner, so this is a big deal for the youngster. 13th seed. Getting closer by the minutes, it would appear. And talk about a strong commitment to those backhands. Remember, he missed two backhands to start off this game. And that was a rough exchange. He had to get through it. it says a lot about his character. Chance for 5 3. Light person. Test passed. And it's just a game from victory now. Yeah, a couple of those early exchanges in that game. Monfils got his return to the backhand side. But if Sinner gets first serves in, he's normally playing the forehand. And that's where he can dictate play. Tough to shake an excellent ground stroke once they start dominating with it. Like Rafa Nadal playing his forehand, he can't find his backhand. Oh. Oh, it's solid. It's another element of the challenge for Sinner over the last couple of hours. Not necessarily battling the crowd, but he's had a Crowd to contend with that has largely got behind Monfils. He hasn't taken it personally, but it's been it's been an extra element of the challenge, isn't it? No doubt. But that's also an energy. You just have to swing that in a positive way. Use it the best way you can. He went with that serve right into the center forehand. There wasn't much on it. It was fairly routine, really, for the Italian. Morfis has been in trouble before. Can he find a way out of this? It's the big serve to get him back to 30 all, but still, Sinner just two points from victory.
missed by much. And it runs towards the baseline by the Italian. 14, 13. Oh. And he holds and extends this fascinating contest. Forces the Italian to serve for it deep in the fifth. Here we go then. Buckle up. Let's see whether the sinner can finish the job. Remember, he was up 4 3 in the third. Two sets to love. He lost three games in a row. He was 4 love. In the fourth, he lost six games in a row. Oh, that net cord may have saved Monfils that point. Might have been a clean winner had it not caught the net cord. His wife caught side, lifting every single point out here this afternoon. Three hours and 39. These two guys have been going at it. Oh. to the finish line. 15. I didn't think it was a bad play from Monfils. Go in big to the backhand, and then he could get the next ball on his forehand. So a lot of subtle plays unfolding right down the stretch. Once more, just two points away. Which is a little bit closer. Oh, 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 what a serve. Only his fifth ace of the match. What a time to find it. Three hours, 41 minutes on the match clock. The Italian double match point. Oh. Please, please. Survives a little longer. 14, and he had the volley on his racket, didn't he? He'd softened it up and it had cleared the net. I defended it. Match point number two. His nerve. Please. It's long. What a victory for Yannick Sinner. New territory for the young Italian. He's into the round of 16 here at the US Open for the very first time. A fantastic battle with Gail Monfils. And what a fantastic effort to bounce back after the third and fourth sets got away from him.